Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and in this video we're going to look at destructuring in JavaScript. So if you don't know what destructuring is, let's first of all get a definition of what the word actually means. So to destructure, uh, according to our dictionary lookup here, is to destroy or to dismantle something. So Dismantle is probably a good word to use because what we're actually going to be doing is with our arrays and objects is going to be dismantling them or removing their structure and just creating variables from the array or object. So before we get started it's worth saying that destructuring is an ES6 concept or feature so if you're using older versions of JavaScript or supporting older versions then this feature won't directly be available to you but you could use some transpilers to get this feature working for you. So with that said let's have a quick look at an example of a destructuring statement. So thinking about how you would normally assign a variable in JavaScript I'm using the const keyword here to define some constants this might look a little bit unusual because you would expect to have a variable name on the left hand side and then its value on the right hand side. But this is an example of destructuring. So what we're saying here is uh, we're defining three new variables, A, B and C, and then I want to assign them the variables of one, two, three. So this is an example of array destructuring and each element that's in the right hand side of the array here gets saved into the variable name on the left. So I can examine those now. So if I look at A, for example, you'll see that's 1, B is 2, and C is 3. So that's all array destructuring really is, is taking an array and assigning values to it by just defining them on the names that we give on the left-hand assignment. So the normal way of doing it, if we had our array of 1, 2, and 3, would be to pick out each item individually via their index. So for example, if we wanted to have x, y, and z, you might say array item at position 0. So x would now be 1. And then maybe we'd have y, and that would be array position at number 1. And if we look at y now that should be two so that would be the normal way of doing it but we can really speed up the process and make our code a lot cleaner by using this syntax here of array destructuring of course there are a couple of tricks that we can do here as well so for example if i wanted to just get the first element of the array i could say uh, so our array is still one two and three but if i just put a in square brackets on the left hand side You'll see the expression is fine, it doesn't give us any errors, uh, but now if I say A, I've just got the number once because that's the item in the first position of the array, but I didn't declare B and C this time, so oh, not blur, that B is not defined, and the same thing for C as well. I will take complete. Another quick tip as well is you can also miss out items in the array uh, just by including a, a blank comma. So in this example, let's say we want A and C to be declared and given the values from the array, but let's miss out B. So we should get A and C to equal one and three. As you can see, there's no errors to come through and A is equal to one, C is equal to three and B should give us undefined. So that's array destructuring, but we can also do a similar process with objects as well. So for example, if I had an object and I'm just going to call it response and this could be a, I could have a username property in there and also maybe it's got a permissions property that has an array of permissions. So one. level two and level three and possibly also a password property in there as well so it's really secure for our new web app so we have our object defined response and you're probably aware that you can use the either dot or square bracket notation to access those individual properties of the object but it can be really useful to destructure this object into individual variables so that you can perform certain tasks on each of the properties individually whilst making your code a little bit cleaner so let's give an example of that so let's say our 
username and our permissions and our password with the three properties is equal to response. So in a similar way with our arrays that we had before, we were basically saying this value on the right hand side, this object, assign that into these values on the left hand side here. So username now should just be the string that I defined earlier and permissions should be our array of permissions that we created as it is and also we have our password too. So as with the array destructuring there are a couple of tips and tricks for working with object destructuring. So for example, if we didn't really want to get the username and password for this particular function that's using the response object, we could literally just say const permissions is equal to response. And as long as those curly braces are there, the object will be destructured. And permissions has the value of the array that we defined and obviously the other properties are kind of thrown away so for example username should give us not defined so that's object destructuring and array destructuring in a nutshell it provides a really clean mechanism for extracting certain parts of a variable whether that's an object or an array and you'll find the technique used in a lot of style guides such as the Airbnb style guide for JavaScript and telling you to use this feature to make your code a little bit cleaner. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, drop a comment and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more web development tips and tricks.